Hello, my magical friends. I'm Calmingo. And today we are playing Overlook Bay, decorating the second part of the Halloween Mansion. Now, do keep in mind that these two rooms that I did today cost five to six thousand zims to do, but the walls in the bedroom are about a thousand because I used a lot of rugs for the walls. Now, first, before I show you the room, uh, I, this is part two, so go watch part one to go see what I did, did up there. Because it looks really cool up there. I'm very proud of it. But I'm going to show y'all the rooms I've just done. I did a bathroom and a bedroom, I did, which was a lot of work. And then I'm going to show you how I did it. Look at this. So many like floating pumpkins all over the place. So for this room, I kind of went for like a pumpkin theme. It's like it's like a lot of black and a lot of orange with some, with some white mixed into it. But I'm very proud of this. You have my little table here with a pumpkin with some pumpkin pie on it. You got a mirror over here with some ghosts. Got a little closet with a ghost peeking out of it. And two of the pumpkin beds that are really cool. So I also made it where there's a pet bed in this bed. So I, I can sleep with my sweet tooth, which is really fun. It's so cute looking. I love it. And moving on in here, we have the bathroom, which also kind of went for an orange theme. Just like to match rooms together. But we have a cool little vanity here that you can sit in. The big old mirror. I do show how you do all. I do. I do show how you do all of this. So, I do show how you can do all of this. So I have like the desk that we show. I even have the um, cauldron bathtub with the ghost inside of it. Another closet. I have the sink, a singular sink, with a mirror with a light on it, which is really cool. And I even have this wall divider for the toilet. Has a little ghost buddy in it. Um, I actually modeled after a candy corn. Very much happy with how this turned out. But now that you guys seen the room, let's go ahead and start showing you how I made it. Alright, so every single thing in this room right now is what I get into the bathroom. And all the, the oranges I use is from this pumpkin right here. It's just from like the light of it. It's a really good color for everything. And for all of the actual lights, I do use the light from this item right here. Because this light color is really good, just like to match all the oranges we're using. But every single thing in this area does go into the bathroom. But let's get started. So the first thing I do is I start working on the vanity. And basically what I do is I have this round table with the two dressers from the new update. And I put the dressers on both sides, kind of where they're going to hide the legs of the table. I do move the table away so I can get the dressers a little bit closer to the wall. But the table's actually too short in order, in order to work here. So I do have these three little cylinders that I put on the ground in order to raise it just enough to be right below the height of the dressers, which definitely works out very nicely. And they do go through the back of the wall, so do keep that in mind. It's not that bad. You can just cover it on the other side with some, like, walls or something, or maybe, like, a couch. But after that, I place down the rug, the chair, and the mirror. It's technically a painting, but I think it looks like a mirror. In order to complete it, I do also add a candelabra and a pumpkin on the other side, which definitely put, pulls it together. Next thing I do is I go ahead and put the walls on the ceiling, so that way the roof can be a different color. Definitely a really good trick. And I also have these vanity lights, which work out really nicely as, like, backlights for the vanity. Of course, they are, they are vanity lights, so that kind of makes sense. But that kind of, like, brings together the entire thing. I'm very proud of how that turned out. Now, next we're going to do the bathtub. And this is how I actually got the ghost in the tub, because the ghosts can't interact with the bricks. And I basically just get a really big brick, and I lean it against it. And then I put the tub over it, and it looks like the ghost is taking a swim in the tub. Next, I put these two plants on the wall in order to, like, complete that wall so it's not as empty. Now, for this light, I actually centered on the window, so that way it can be near the center the best you can. You don't have to be exactly centered. And I go ahead and place this cupboard against the wall. Now, this next thing is the sink. I do show you how to do this in part one. But this is a different way in order to do it. Let's just, let's, it's the same concept, just a little bit different by keeping both cabinets there. It's a little bit easier. And 
And as you can see, I got it first try instead of like my pop like five tries last time. Definitely a lot faster this way. The next thing I do is I actually do grab this mirror and I do have a light that I put on top of it in order for like a little mirror light, which is definitely really cool. It's actually supposed to be a table light, but it works really well here. I also have some napkins, a rug, and a wall towel to put here, which definitely brings together the entire wall. And the last thing we, ha last thing we have is the toilet and its wall. The wall does resemble a candy corn, which is really fun. The colors don't have to be super serious. It's, it's, all, it's all fun. And I do use the top of the candy corn color for the plant pot. And I really do like what I do here. So the, um, I put the tissues and the toilet in there, but you can actually put the ghost inside the toilet, which is absolutely hilarious. But overall, I think this place turned out really nicely. All right, so everything in this room is going, going to be fitting inside this room. Now, I know it looks like a lot of stuff, but it actually fits in really nicely. Lots of orange, lots of pumpkins. It's going to look really, really good. Um, most of the price is in the rugs, by the way, so do keep that in mind. It's like 900, almost like 1,000 just for the, these rugs alone. This room is pretty expensive at around 3,700 coins, but... The first thing we do in this room is, of course, the ceiling. Ceilings aren't that difficult, just a bunch of walls lined up. Probably the easiest part. But right after that, we do do the walls. Now, we are using the striped rugs that are painted purple and black, which look really, really good. Now, do keep in mind that these can't overlap on the windows, and they can't overlap into other rooms. So there's a very limited amount of space I can use these in, so... They do only go to the door of the bathroom, and they only go about, like, almost to the other, um, door. They, they take up about, like, half the room, so not too bad. They are a little bit difficult to line up, but other than that, they're not too, um, painful to do. They do look really good. I really wish we had a wall, um, decor that looked like this, so we don't have to, um, use rugs for it, but either way, it still looks really, really good. Now, after that, I do have these neon light strips that I actually um, used originally on the bathroom door because it looked kind of weird um, just breaking off before the bathroom door. That This one fit perfectly, and I used it on both doors instead. I do go ahead and put the pumpkin rug on the wall, just like a little wall decoration. And I do put one of the beds in the corner. Now I do have these two cabinets that I do. Uh, I did do the same thing upstairs in the black room. But they look really cool as a table. And I go ahead and put a bunch of like a pumpkin pie on it. Because you know, you can always use more pumpkins. I also put a lamp and a bowl of candy corn on it. Next I have these two dressers that I stack on top of each other. Because it kind of makes them look bigger of course. It looks really good, and I also put the fireplace in there. Now, you can't actually place things on the fireplace, so I need to spawn in a brick in order to actually put the um, TV on top of the fireplace, which looks really, really good, actually. And I do go ahead and use the brick to put stuff above the doorways, too, because I do actually put these glowing pumpkins on top of the doorways just like bringing some light into the room and they, look, look, they just look really cool up there. Now this is actually how I put the dog bed on top of the normal bed and basically what I did is I got a brick and the dog bed. I used a smaller brick than this one right here. I think I used the smallest one in the kit and I put the dog bed on top of it where the bed wants to be. I remove the brick and then I put the bed back over it and the pets then can then can sleep on it. And next we put the end table um, in between the two beds. I do line them up because they weren't uneven. And I put the alarm clock on top of it because, you know, everyone needs a good time to wake up. 
Can't be sleeping in too late, got pumpkin things to do. I then go ahead and put the two mirrors next to this window. I do like to try to light them up with the window, but I think it looks pretty good. I, I know I use this mirror a lot, but I just really like the design. Next, we start putting in some ghosts. I'll go ahead and put in two of them now. I do have like five to put in in a second. And I do move over the fireplace a tiny bit because I was a little bit too close to the bathroom because I do want to put a pumpkin in between the fireplace and the bathroom, which I'm going to go ahead and do right now. You know, that fills in the room a tiny bit. Next thing I do is I actually have this rug in here, and if you put these stairs on top of the rug, they actually collide. It doesn't look that good. So I do end up using a slab in order to raise them up just a tiny bit. And I do the exact same thing for this book right here, too. Because otherwise it would be, like, hidden inside the rug. So if you want, want to put things on top of rugs, um, use, those, like, the tiny little slabs, because they do raise it just enough to go above the rug. Same thing goes for if you want to put something on the wall, they have a rug on, it's the same thing. Now next, I use bricks and like tilt them against the wall in order to actually get ghosts to go in different angles. Like I got that one going into the ground and that one's kind of tilted a tiny bit. So definitely super proud of what I did with these ghosts. I do use this technique for all of the pumpkins and all the other ghosts. Like I put this one inside of the dresser and i also go ahead and place one more inside of the rug and i do also use these bricks in order to float the pumpkins in the sky now i actually instead of stacking from the ground i actually stack from the wall now for the pumpkins so that way they can tilt because the um, walls give you tilt angles now which works out very nicely, as you can see. And that is the last one placed. And overall, I'm super proud of how this room turned out. Wow, that was that was a lot of work. That was a lot of money, too. I'm very happy with what I did with the walls and the bedroom because that was definitely was the hardest part for me to decide on. But I have a question for y'all. Have y'all done any decorating for the new Halloween event? Because the new Halloween stuff is so much fun to decorate with. And if you have, let me know down in the comments because I'm very curious on what y'all have done. But I will see y'all next time. Goodbye.